Swarm Robotics group at the University of Bristol is, is looking at how we can develop this concept of Swarm Robotics for the real world. Large groups of robots that can work together cooperatively to deliver tasks for humans. We're here today to try to figure out whether you know, we can have people agree on an opinion, which we call deliberative democracy. So can swarm robots actually help people reach consensus? So what we're trying to do is we ask people, what is the most important thing you should do to fight climate change? We give them some options. And then they choose the option. And then when they choose the option, their opinion is shown on the robots for other people to see. And we're trying to figure out whether this behavior actually um, allows people to reach consensus and agree on a decision. What we see in society is there's so many conversations we need to be having and it would be really nice if robots can help brainstorm, if they can help come to consensus, if they can help tension opinions so that we can have these meaningful interactions that aren't so polarized. You've all been in conversations where humans are in a group and we're talking and there's always the same person talking or someone's a bit too shy to share their opinion or you have cliques, here's a group, here's another group, they have different opinions but they don't share. I think robots can help those opinions travel. These robots are helping us to understand perhaps a bit of psychology, a bit of how do people go about making their decisions, but also to ask questions like are there better ways to help people to make decisions or to inform people about decisions. Um, so perhaps there's some application in the future where we might use robots in this way, but at the moment this is just very early investigation work. To start to get these robot swarms out of the lab, it's really important that we make them trustworthy, that these swarms are useful within the human setting, and it's, it's early days in understanding how to do that. We're looking at social sciences, human-robot interactions, the ethics of it, also the engineering, because we had to build these robots, and I think it's bringing together these teams that's so exciting.